So today I'm going to be cooking a 2.16 kilo, so a really large chicken that will last us for lots of meals. And it's super simple this recipe. My secret ingredient is to add a lot of herbs. So today I'm using purple sage and rosemary and if I had any decent time left I'd be putting that in as well. But these will do and then we've got our chicken and I also love lemon chicken. So I'm going to be putting this lemon where we've been using the peels for G&T and I'll be using the rest of this in the recipe. And that's all you need. So to start off I've got the trivet in the Instant Pot Duo crisp with the handles facing upwards, that's quite important for this recipe. And then I'm going to add about two cups, uh, 350 mils of water just to the bottom. And then let's prepare the chicken. I'm going to take these lovely purple sage leaves and put those in the cavity. I'm going to put some rosemary in the cavity. And then I'm just really simply going to split this lemon that I've got in the fridge and also get that into the cavity. And then other than seasoning it, that's it, we're ready to go. The only seasoning I'm going to use at this stage is black pepper. And I will be using some salt on the chicken but I'll do that at a later stage. So, let's get this into the Instant Pot. And then all I'm going to do now is to use the pressure cooking lid on the Instant Pot. And what I'm going to do is pressure cook on high and with the time at 30 minutes. So this is for the main cooking stage and then we'll move into the browning as a second stage. So I've set that for high, don't forget to press start, which I always do, and that's it. We can just set and forget now, go off and do something else instead, which in my case is editing this video. So now we're at the end of the 30 minutes and I'm now going to leave the Instant Pot to do what's called a natural release. And that's where we're just letting the steam ease out itself and I'll probably leave this for about 20 minutes. Okay, we're back, so let's see how the chicken's doing. So we'll just check in the thickest part of the meat, see what temperature we've got. We're looking for 170 and that's easily cooked. This one has split itself a little bit there but that is now completely cooked and you could eat shred it and eat that as is but let's give it that extra special finish by getting it crisped up using the air fryer function. So all I'll do is lift out the chicken using the handy trivet, put that to one side, there it is cooked but a little anemic and I'll now empty out these juices which I'll use later in broth or for gravy and by a miracle because I have bought a second instant pot bowl I can get straight into the air frying. And that noise is because I forgot to turn off the instant pot. There it goes. This device completely keeps you on your toes so you never need to worry. And this chicken is already really well cooked so I've got on with the lid and I'll put it on for 10 minutes for some browning and then we'll check and see where we're at. See you in a minute. And there we have perfect herby roast chicken, crispy skinned and ready for a delicious meal tonight and plenty of midweek suppers to come. Thank you Instant Pot. So I hope that gives you the confidence that you can cook a whole chicken in the Instant Pot. So I will be back soon with more videos. So subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.